I'm meteorologist Gary Lezak with Weather 2020. Tropical Storm Dubby predicted five months ago. The LRC predicted five months ago that there would be a system right on August the 4th, and here it is, August the 4th. Take a look at this, and you can see as the sun was setting, thunderstorms were exploding over the center of Debbie, and it's likely going to be a hurricane within the next few hours. So you can see this clearly is becoming more organized. In fact, look right on the last satellite picture, right there, you can see the center of it, right there. So we might have an eye developing as Debbie becomes a hurricane here uh, fairly soon. All right. Uh, this is the Global Predictor. If you downloaded the Global Predictor, you get the forecast for the next six months. Go to weather2020.com and just click on the Global Predictor and you can go anywhere in the world and get your forecast. Like, for example, for where this one's heading, where Debbie's heading, you go to September, click on Precipitation. Notice how there's a lot of precipitation on the September 11th and 12th. That could be another hurricane heading right into this location. So it is definitely a target, as you can see there. All right, I want to show you what's going on with uh, the weather pattern. And and this is Debbie, you can see here. Uh, this is the forecast. We thought it would be a hurricane by now, and it absolutely has been. But look at this. This is the forecast that we made in March, on March the 4th, for perhaps a system right in here near Cuba taking this track. It also could have taken this track. We can show you the deep science and meteorology behind it. But look at this forecast to happen, predicted March 4th, to happen on August the 4th. So a uh, 150-day forecast. This is the area we're watching as it becomes a hurricane tonight. Look at what it looked like just a few days ago. It was a lot weaker. I'll show you that in a second. Debbie, Ernesto, Francine, Gordon, those are the next ones in line. We do expect a fairly active season, not as active as others, but we just still expect 14 to 19 named storms. This is just number four. So as of July 25th, as of yesterday, it was three, but now we're up to four named storm. Right on schedule to our prediction. And Weather 2020 has had the most accurate forecast two years in a row beating Colorado State and beating all other private companies, universities, and government agencies based on this site, the Barcelona Supercomputing Center and coordination with Colorado State University. Here's Penn's unit forecast for name storms for like 33 of them or something like that, and ours, which is 17, 14 and 19 name storms. And our ACE prediction, we have the lowest prediction. And... We expect to be accurate for the third year in a row. Again, here is the system as it looked a few days ago um, for tonight. And then here is the latest data showing it's much stronger. So you can see, again, that's what it looked like. And that's what it now looks like. So it is intensifying. In the next couple of weeks, we have to watch for a system cutting across right through here. This has been in our forecast for the middle part of August. And sure enough, right now, I'll show you the National Hurricane Center. They have this area targeted, and then we could have another one that will be heading towards the end of the month of August out here heading towards the southeast. So the activity is just now ramping up, as you can see here. All right, let me go to our – I want to show you what the National Hurricane Center is saying right now. And let's go take a look here. Look, so there it is. I just showed you the track, another one from 150 days ago. And we think it might curve like this, so we'll see. But the Hurricane Center right now is a 30% chance. Debbie and then this one, we will monitor all of these things very closely. All right, that's just a quick tropical update. Obviously, people are preparing along the Gulf Coast, the Southeast United States. Where will Debbie go? Okay, it's absolutely fascinating. There's some models that do something weird. In fact, I'll show it to you real quick. Look at this. Watch what the GFS, our American model, does. Watch this. I'll go to that region. You got to see this. See this? Watch what this model forecasts. It comes in to northern Florida, crosses the Georgia border, turns towards the Georgia coast and the Florida coast, 
spins around and heads back I'll, <laughs> and back over the southeast. I mean, that, that's crazy. The European model doesn't do that at all. The European model brings it in, stalls it, maybe intensifies, comes back into South Carolina. They need some rain in South Carolina. Not as much rain as pos uh, could happen, but you can see that's another solution. Just to know there are various solutions out there. We'll know a lot more, I think, by tomorrow. All right, there's your quick tropic update. I'm meteorologist Gary Lezak. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel, Weather 2020. There's a lot of other videos on here from the past. You can see what is rain, what is snow. Um, you'll see some videos when I was a little bit younger. I'm meteorologist Gary Lezak.